So guys, I'm cleaning the, the uh, housing now. Uh, I've got the, the uh, inside of the housing pretty well cleaned out. I'll tell you what I did to clean the tubes out. <laughs> uh, I took, uh, I happen to have a lot of muskets. Um, I do Civil War reenacting and I'm an old gun collector. But anyway, I took one of my uh, musket ramrods and I have a tool, it's called a worm here, which uh, you can see why it's kind of called a worm. And this is a, a cleaning patch goes this on this uh, for cleaning out a musket bore. So I took this ramrod and I cut some big rags uh, and then I just used this with kerosene and, and ran, them, ran it through the bore of the axle housing from both sides, just kept changing the rags, getting clean rags till I got it all cleaned out. So a pretty simple way to do it. Uh, that got me, got the housings clean, got the grease out, I got the grease fittings out. Um, and also, you know, there is an often overlooked little uh, vent hole, which, let me see if I can get this to see if you can uh, see this. There is a vent hole that is often covered in grease and grime that's right there. And that needs to be open so, uh, so pressure can vent out of the axle. So I cleaned that off, found the clogged up hole, and got it cleaned out also while I was cleaning everything. Uh, also, I removed the, uh, the grease fittings and got those cleared out. And I got it right back in right now just to kind of keep it clean, keep grit from getting inside when I go to clean the axle. Uh, so... Um, so that's coming along. Oh, sorry about bouncing the camera here. So uh, one thing I wanted to point out here, and I've mentioned this in some of my other videos. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, are what I call, or what are known as chasing taps. And these are for cleaning out threads. Uh, I have a whole set of them here, and I use these on anything I'm working on. They're different than normal taps that are used for cutting threads. These are a few thousand smaller. Uh, they're not sharp. They're not made for cutting threads. They're made for cleaning out threads. So they're great for cleaning out rust and dirt and grit and grime or whatever is in there. So anything like this that I'm working on, I go through all the threaded holes with them. And uh, you just run them in. And you can turn them by hand or if it's tight, you can put a wrench on it. Run it all the way in, run them out. And that catches all the dirt and rust and grit inside the... Uh, the slots and then you clean out, clean it out and continue on all the way around. So I've also, uh, while the, the, the threads for the caps are in, in great shape, there's nothing wrong with them, but I'm just going to run through it anyway. Just run this uh, big, this is a half inch tap, uh, just to clean these holes out, just to make sure they're all clear. Uh, so it's just, again, again, a really nice set of tools to have. You can get them online on eBay, uh, but it's a good good set of tools to have in your kit. Instead of using a regular cutting tap that can that can cut threads and open them up, and these these are good also if the uh, threads are damaged or dinged or dented a little bit, or uh, and they'll straighten those threads out. And there are also uh, dies, same thing. These are these are thread cleaning and straightening dies for the same purpose. So they're a really nice little tool set to have. Uh, something that uh, everybody should have in your arsenal if you're working on this kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to continue cleaning. I'm going to get got most everything cleaned up on the inside. I've got to get the cover on. I'm going to seal up the axle ends and then the front end uh, so I can start bringing it upstairs and get ready to start getting all the rust off the outside. That's the last big ugly job to do before uh, before I start getting into clean work, which is, makes it a lot more fun. So that's where I'm at right now.